Hi, it's Terry Stevenson of the Builderall team, and in today's training video, we're going to learn all about the Presentation Builder. Here we are in the Presentation Studio, and as you can see, I have many presentations already made. They get listed down here below, but we're going to go right over here to the right hand side and click new presentation and create a new presentation. That opens up the canvas for your presentation studio. The very first thing we need to do is to talk a little bit about the tools we have at our disposal. We have a toolbar up here, you can see. We also have a drop down menu over here all the way to the left. And we also have some buttons and a drop down menu all the way to the right. Let's start with the tools here. And you'll see these are the functions that we can apply to our presentation. The first thing you need to be aware of is that the presentation itself is divided up into really two specific areas. The surface, which is the area that the slide is positioned upon. You can see right here in the center, this is our slide, but behind here is the surface. So you can come up here and to the surface, and when you click on that, it gives you the options of all slides or a selected slide. That means that you're going to be able to choose the surface presentation for all the slides in your presentation or each specific slide. So let's click on all slides and you see what happens. It pops out a menu where we can change it to specific colors and there's several listed here. You can kind of move through them and see what that looks like. We also have this button here, which is a transparency button. Down here, this square with a little image icon is where you can add an image. And then we also have a pencil icon where you can edit the color. So if I wanted to change the surface of all the slides in my presentation to black, I would just click on the black. You can see that the surface has changed to this color black. Now we can also change the background of slides. So I can change this selected slide to a different color. You can see how that changed. Now the slide is this tan color and the background's black. You can also change it to a transparency or an image. I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's play around and explore a little bit about what kind of effects we can achieve with changing images and transparencies on these two surfaces. For example, uh, let's go to the surface. This is what's currently in the black or dark gray. I'll show you how you can use an image on the surface area. Click on the browse and I'm going to come down here and find an image. Let me pick something out of here. Let me choose that image. I can open it up. It will upload it to the presentation studio. And then you have the option to insert the image. Now you can see that on the surface, the image is now on the surface, but of course the slide is covering that up at the moment. So let's go up here to the background on the selected slide and make sure we choose transparency. And now we have a completely transparent slide showing the image we have on the surface below. You can be very creative by designing your surface image specifically for whatever presentation that you're working on and then using a transparent slide, perhaps, to sh let it show through. But you'll see more of that as we move through the training. And that's how you add an image to the surface. 
You can do the same thing with the slides by adding an image. Let me switch this up a little bit and show you. I can bring in a different slide for the background here. And we'll go back to that same folder and pick this gradient. I created an, a gradient image and I can upload it to the surface area. And then when I want to put something on the slide, that brings that image in now. So we're going to insert it. And you can see that that replaces the background of the slide with that specific image. Depending on whether or not you selected all slides or a selected slide, you'll be using this image as the background for all of your slides or the individual slides. So it's really very easy to be very creative and unique with your presentations in this manner. It's not too difficult. It's very simple, but it's it gives you the opportunity to build a very specific look very quickly. Moving on over right to the left of the background and surface tools is our shapes tool. And when you click on the tool, you get an assortment of various shape. Let's click on a shape here and put a shape in there. You can move it around just by clicking on it and dragging it. You can also change the color by clicking here and it opens up a drop down menu that has a color picker. Now there are a few glitches with this color picker at this moment. Uh, some t I found it and I've submitted it to the developers, but I've managed to keep trying and tweaking it and getting it to work. But it's it's really basic. You could drag through the slide here to the different colors that you may want. Let's let's pick something really bright using this color picker really is no problem. Where it gets a little trickier is when you want to use a custom color. I've been putting in the hex code and if it doesn't work I try the RGB code. Um, and if it doesn't work I try it again and sometimes it will work. It's, it's just a little finicky at the moment but I know they're working on it to make it seamless. But it's certainly workable right now. So that's how you alter the colors. You can also alter the size just by clicking and dragging it. You can alter the perspective. So you can see you have a lot of creativity in making different shapes. And then you can uh, place it wherever you want. To delete the image, you can just click on it and it removes that shape. I find the shapes really useful when I want to create a background, a specific background to highlight perhaps some text. For example, I might pull in a just a square, align it, and then I can put my text on top of this shape and it really pops it out. So that's a really good use for some of the shapes or creating layered images. You just really need to get in there and play with it and have some fun with it. So that's your shapes tool. So let's click this shape out of here and delete it from our slide and move on to the next icon, the website tool. So if we click on that, it pops up a card where we can insert a website. Imagine that. This is a really powerful part of the presentation builder. You can imagine that we, when we have the ability to import an entire website into a presentation, that opens up so many possibilities for many, many reasons and in many scenarios. It's so easy to use too. All you do is come to this URL field and paste in your URL and you'll get to see that you have a preview of your website right here. I just put in the Builder All website. And if you click Insert Website, that brings in a page. So for instance, 
if I wanted to bring in this website on this page, I might decide to, on this slide, remove the background. So I'd come up here to selected slide and change that to the transparent background. Now I have our website, the Builder All website, right here on our presentation, in the middle of our presentation. So that's really a powerful, powerful part of our presentation builder. One of the tools that doesn't really get talked about a lot, but it's really a powerful tool. So we'll click out our website. Now we're left with our surface and our transparent slide on this slide here. So let's explore the very next tool. To the left of the website is the video insert. So we're going to click on that and it brings up a card and says insert video. Again, this is where you will put in a URL of a video. So let's try it. I've gone to YouTube and I've copied a URL of a video to my clipboard. I'm going to insert my cursor right there in the URL field and paste it. I'll insert the video and it brings up our sponsor of the Orlando City Soccer Club. Plops it down there in a frame and we can play it. We can resize it. We can also move it, but it's a little different how you move this you need to position it. So if we want it closer to the left-hand margin, we're going to come down here and we're going to put it where we want it. We want it all the way to the edge. Let's keep it up to the top here. Let's see how large we can make it. That looks about right. And now we have a video. our promotional video right in our presentation. Now, this coming from YouTube, of course, will have these more video options when you use a YouTube URL. Another way around that that we can talk more about later is uh, hosting your videos elsewhere. I use a Cloudinary account and host a lot of my videos there and then I can take it from that URL, that address, and bring it right into the presentation. So this is a great way to add video to a presentation. Perhaps you're showing a video of a logo singer or a lower third to a client, and you can plop it right into the presentation where they can see it. They don't have to go outside of the presentation to view it. This is a great way to add training videos to a, a presentation. There's so many different possibilities with this powerful little tool in your back off that really doesn't get a lot of appreciation. So let this spark your entrepreneurial minds and when you're creating content that perhaps is not content that you're going to put on your website, but you're sharing in terms of your business, whether it be business to business, whether it be student to teacher, teacher to student, all of that becomes really powerful when you can add video websites and very easily create branded piece of your own. So that's the video insert tool. I don't think I was very clear about how you move these elements around on the page. So I wanted to give a little bit more instruction about that. Let me go ahead and delete this and I'll see if I can be a little bit more clear. So I'm coming over here and I'm going to add the video. I'm pasting the URL in that field inserting the video and here's our you can resize the box and square it up however you like by clicking on that corner 
But when you want to reposition it on your slide, your cursor needs to be inside one of these fields. Either this field that determines how far to the left or right you're located, or in the field here that positions it lengthwise. So that's how you go about repositioning these video frames. And you can imagine, once you get it sized properly, you could do some really creative graphic arts work just with that. So I hope that made it a little bit more clear about how to go about repositioning the video on your slide. So we'll remove our video, and let's talk about the next option here adding an image. Click on that and it brings up another card similar to the other cards we've seen that asks us for a URL of an image. That means that you're going to have to have your image uploaded somewhere where you can get a URL, whether that is OneDrive, Google Drive, Cloudinary, wherever you store your images where you have a URL for that specific image. But you can also browse your desktop. And that's usually what I do for images. Here we go. Let's just add an image that we used in the Fruit Shop website. I can pull in a web, an image, get the preview, and then I can insert the image. And again, I have the option of resizing it. Now on our images, we are able to click on it and drag it. So it's very similar to all of the other options. Let's move over to the text and click on text here. I'm going to move our image out of the way. And here on our text field, if we click in this, we can double click and that puts our cursor inside the text field. And we can replace it with whatever text we like. We can reposition it on our slide. If we are inside the text field, just by double clicking there, we have this basic text editing menu. We can bold, italicize. We can also create an unordered list bullet points or an ordered list, a numbered list. We have the ability to justify to the left and center justify. Here is a link. We can create a link to this text. Here's where you choose your fonts and here's your size and your color is very much the same as we've seen using this color picker. Here is where you can clear all of your formatting. So it's a very basic text editor, but certainly powerful enough for this presentation. So that takes us through all of these options for the tools and the functions that we can apply to our presentation. We have a couple more menus to talk about. Moving all the way to the left here at the top is our menu. And if we click here, it's going to open up a card that gives us several different options as well as a save. Now we haven't saved this presentation yet. So if we click, it opens up a card and it gives us the option to name and title our presentation. We also get the opportunity to create a password if we like. That means that once we've created our presentation, we can send the link to somebody. And if we want to protect it with the password, we can also send them the password and then they can have access to view the link. We're not going to add a password to this and I just named it training test and I'm going to click save changes. Click here again, you'll also see that you can access a clickable menu button for undo and redo here and cut, copy, and paste. You can use these menu options and you can also use these shortcut codes 
which really are what I use most of the time anyway because it is so much faster. I also want you to notice that as you move down below this menu, here's our first slide. As I move down here, a green button pops up with a plus. This is where I can add another slide. So let's do that. Let's click on that slide. And remember, we have we edited this slide, so this is the basic slide we still have, have in our presentation, which means if we add yet another one, it's going to look the same. This is our default at this point. Of course, we can change those at any time we want. We can also delete cards by clicking on them. Let's add a couple more. Let's change this one just to make it look different so you can see. Let's see. Let's change the uh, background of this selected slide to pink. You can also see that we can shift the position of any of these in our presentation by just clicking and dragging these. Moving all the way to the right is another couple sets of buttons. Here we see the overview, and right now you can see that it says Impress. So if we click the overview, it's going to show us the overview of our surface area and the slides. You can see here's our surface area, and here are our slides. On this slide, we have a pink background. On this slide, we have a transparent background. On this slide, we have a transparent background. And on this slide, we have the blue bur background, but we have the image and the text. You can also notice that we have numbers down here, so we know what order they're in. Like we know this is our first slide. It'll go from this slide to this slide to this slide to this slide. And when we move into an actual presentation I want to share with you, you'll see a better representation of why that's important. So when we click, come back up here again, instead of the overview button, we have the slides. So let's click on that, and it takes us back to the slide view. This is your slide view, and this is your overview. If we move to the right here, Right now we see it's Impress. It's set on Impress, but we also have Bespoke and Handouts. Let's take a look at Impress first. To demonstrate the difference between Impress, Bespoke, and Handout effects, I'm going to take you to another presentation I've already built so you can see the effects. And then we're going to move on and I'll show you the presentation that we're going to learn to build together. This is a link of a presentation I built for my upcoming boot camp before we made a lot of changes. So I have to edit all of this anyway. But as you can see, it, I have a presentation that has the title card, and then we have five slides. Now, we're not aware, looking at this surface area, because the surface on this is this gradient. This is the impress view. Looking at this overview, we don't know which order they go in, so I'm going to hit the space bar, and that'll take you to the title card. That's the first slide in the series. I hit the space bar again, and here's our next slide. And then we can move through the presentation just by hitting the space bar. When the presentation is over with, it goes into the overview mode. That's one example of an impress presentation. Here's another presentation I did early in creating presentations for my consulting group. And as you can see, this background of the surface is an image. As I click the space bar, we'll go from slide to slide. And this was a useful 
slide presentation about a process that we use in our consulting business. So no matter where we are, we can access this link and quickly use this presentation on a laptop or any device that can get internet access. So that's another impress presentation. You might recognize some of the slides in this presentation. We'll move through them very quickly though. These are some of the slides I used in the Pixel Perfect Overview training video. In this presentation, I used the bespoke option. And what you're going to see is one of the options within the bespoke menu option. So we'll take a look at that as we move further into the training. But here's a good example. When I click on the space bar, it revolves. This is the presentation that we're going to learn how to quickly build. It is really very quickly done. It's a presentation I pulled together very quickly this morning by using the slide presentation that is offered on the elements page. I'll show you where that's located. And this is saved in the bespoke format. Let's take a look at where you can find these images and elements and slides. So we're on the builderall.com website. If you come all the way down to the bottom into the links section, click on elements and this shows you all of the elements that we have and if you click on the access the builder all 3.0 branding kit it takes you to your google drive and in the powerpoint in the new compensation plan if you click on that and download these slides that's where i got these images once I had my images, I just simply used my snipping tool to snip the parts that I wanted to put into the compensation plan presentation. And I created images from those snips. I uploaded them and created this bespoke presentation which uses the triangular kind of like folding leaves i think it might be called i'm not sure or folding pages so when you click the space bar you move through the presentation it's got a really cool effect i think one of many so i chose this one and as you move through, you'll go to the end and it ends up on this thank you card. We're going to talk a little bit about ways to modify this a bit and tweak it just a little bit. But this is the presentation that we're going to learn how to quickly build. It really doesn't take that long at all. Here we are in the presentation studio in my back office. And as you can see down here at the bottom of the list, we have our training test presentation that we just saved and closed. We can come all the way over here. It, we can see it's active and we can edit it by clicking on this button. We can open the link and it will open up the presentation. Now we don't have anything else but two slides I think on this presentation. Three slides, there's the third one, yes. And that's pretty much our presentation on that. What I want to do is take you to the affiliate compensation plan presentation, show you how I built it, and then make a few edits. It's so simple, I'm sure you'll have no trouble figuring it out from here. So that's presentation ID number 6626. This is what's going to show up in the URL of the presentation link when we access the presentation. We're going to take a look at the Builderall Affiliate Program presentation by coming over here 
And we can look at it live right now as it stands by clicking on the open link. But what I want to do is show you how it's built. So I'm going to click the edit. It opens up our presentation studio canvas in the slide view. And if you'll notice, the background is a gradient of the surface. So let's click on the surface, and go to all slides and click on the image. And here we could upload a new image. Here's the current slide image that I'm using, but we could change that if we wanted to. I don't think we'll change it though. So we're going to cancel it and back out of it. But that's how I got the gradient surface image. Now on the individual slides, the backgrounds of all slides, I just chose as close to a color as I could using the color picker. But I used the custom color and picked a darker shade of a eggplant and did that for all the slides in the series. So they all have the same background and they all have the same surface. The next thing I did was I took on each slide, I added an image. Go to that right folder so you can see them. I took all the images from that affiliate compensation plan, those snipped images. I named them in the correct order. So all I had to do was start at the first slide and go to slide two and add an image there. You can see how easy it is to add an image. Let's just add this image and open it up. And I just positioned it, sized it, made it spaced right on the background of the slide. Of course, we don't want this lemons here. We can delete them. And I did that for each of the slide. So you can see how easy and quickly you can pull something together with just snipping images and text of already existing content. Now let's do just a little bit of tweaking to this presentation because we have the tools and we're able to do it with our Builderall Presentation Studio. One of the things that I think that would be really great to do is here we are at slide one. Once you go through the presentation, let's down here add another slide. And on this slide, we can add a website. But what website would you want to put in there? I tell you what I would want to put in there, the URL to my affiliate link. So that's easy enough to do. Here I am on the affiliate funnels page. And I think I'm going to come down here to the seven day free trial funnel and I'm going to select my affiliate link, copy it to my clipboard just by clicking on it like that. Now I can come back in here to our presentation, enter into this URL field, paste that link, and now I can insert the website. I'll make it a little smaller so it will fit our slides position it there. And now we have the Builderall seven day free trial funnel opt-in page right in the presentation itself. I think that's powerful. And it has my affiliate link. So we can leave that as great page right before the thank you page. Now, of course, you're always welcome to put any other information here. Maybe your name. Um, I think I would put here on this thank you page. I might put picture to personalize it. I'd also like to add my badges, perhaps. Let me see if I can find those really. Yes, I think I'd put my one of my badges on there. Let's put a badge on there. A certified partner badge make it smaller. It's all really up to you. You can add text, images, you know, you just have some creative fun, personalize it, 
make it your brand. There's so many opportunities here. You know, like it's all a matter of taste. But once you get everything set the way you want it, you just go, come in here and save. Save the changes or add a password if you wish. But we're just going to save the changes. Now we can look at this in several different ways. Here's the, we can take a look at the overview. We're in the bespoke mode now, which gives us all of these options. We have a carousel, a classic, the concave, the cover flow. That's what that one's called. That's what we have this set on right now. Then we also have cards that flip down. Explore all of these and see which one appeals to you the most. We can also change this to the impress mode. And in the impress mode right now, I just have it aligned in lines. It's all in three lines. But you can place them randomly however you like. And it'll still play in the right order. If you select the handouts, you'll see what this looks like all in one handout like this almost like a pdf all the way down to the end so we'll set it back to let's just put it on the impress mode and i'll show it to you one more time in the impress mode beginning here and it just follows the slide show just like this when we get to the end of that top line it moves down to the middle line and all the way through the slideshow. So you just press the space bar whenever you're ready to move to the next talking point. You can lead your audience step by step through the compensation plan. And here we have our website where they can automatically opt in on your link to a seven day free trial. And then it takes us to the thank you page. Click once more and it comes back to the overview and that's the impress view. So I'm going to set it back to the bespoke view and our cover flow because I really like that. There's one more change and addition I'd like to make to this presentation because we can. We have so many wonderful tools. Let's go back up here to the beginning and add a, another slide in the second slide position. And what I'd like to add on this slide is a video. Let's add a promotional video. I've copied the URL to the own your game with Builderall video and I'm going to paste it there and insert the video and remember we need to click in here to move it and I'm going to position it a little higher on the card and let's see how that looks on this selected slide on this slide only I'm going to change the background color to a true black. I'm going to add some text. Double click in the text. Put the title of the video and I'm going to, first of all, let's change the size to 64. Let's try 64 and the color to white. Then we can see if that fits on the slide. Put it down here. Let's see how that looks. I think that might be a nice addition to have play the video right after you enter the presentation. I would probably host this video somewhere where I could control what gets shown after it plays, but one thing we can be sure of, Builderall is going to be cognizant of that, and since this 
YouTube URL comes from their playlist, I'm going to go ahead and trust it. That's just an idea, though. All of these changes, all of these ideas are certainly up to you and your needs, your aesthetic, and you're in control. With Builderall, you do own your game. So dig in there, play around with this very simple tool. You can get as elaborate as you want, but the tool itself is really very simple. We've certainly covered a lot. We have checked out all the tools and all the different aspects of how to build a presentation and created a great presentation here that anybody can make in very little time specifically suited to their brand and their needs. So this is Terry saying goodbye for now. I'll see you in the groups and around the internet and in the next training video.